presence of the Lord is here in an abundant way. The first time, a few years ago, the Lord spoke that to me. I said, God, what does that mean? And he said, that means simply that I'm here more than enough. More than enough to meet every need. God is here right now. His presence abundantly more than enough to meet your need. Matt Sorger is back with us from New York. He's an international evangelist. He is conducting crusades around the world, and his ministry is being marked with signs and wonders, healings and miracles. I've asked him to pray at the end of this program over all of your prayer requests. So if there's a need in your life, I want to encourage you to move to the phone now before the lines jam. Tell us your prayer need or that of your immediate family member or simply go to daystar.com and click on prayer. We'll download that. We'll print it out. We're going to get Matt to pray. So please join Joni and me as we welcome back to Celebration International Evangelist Matt Sorger. Matt, hey, God bless you. Hey, Joni. So you were telling me that uh, in 2001, yeah. for a year, you worked with Lou Engle for the call New York City. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's, that's why I was so excited when I got here today and I saw Lou in the back room. I said, Lou, it's been a while since we've seen each other. But back in 2001, we worked together, um, worked with Lou on the call New York City. We gathered about 85,000 people together to fast and pray Fabulous. for revival back in 2001 in New York. And it was that year. I remember going to Lou because that time I was pastoring. But God was beginning to give me a vision for miracles, for revival, for a move of the Holy Spirit. And I would share my vision with Lou in the meetings. And he would sit there and look at me and he would say, Matt, go for it. Go for everything that God has Aww. put in your spirit. And I remember that encouragement he gave me, uh, gave me that extra push that I needed to take every step of faith that I had to take to get to where we are today. So I really honor and thank God for Lou Angle. He's, he's a very special man of God. Give us an update on the meetings. What is yeah. God up to? God is, you know, it's been really exciting just seeing a real fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And people are hungry for God. Yes. They're hungry for an experience with the Lord and for His presence. And we've been seeing some wonderful miracles happen. Uh, people revived, refreshed. Uh, a real exciting miracle recently. There was a young teenage boy that came to one of the services. His pastor brought him from another church to the meeting. And he had nine head surgeries and his head was full of tumors, oh, and uh, he was on morphine, and he sat in the meeting with his hands on his head because he had so much pain in his head. Oh, my. And uh, while he was there, the Lord gave me a word of knowledge to pray for him for this special healing, and he came forward. We prayed for him within five minutes. The power of God went through his body, totally healed him. His face, now you have to understand, he had so many surgeries on his head that his face was distorted. One whole side of his face was, was shifted down and his mom came up to me afterwards because I prayed for him and then I moved on. But his mom came up to me afterwards and she was ecstatic because she said, look at my son. His face has been restored to normal. And not Amazing. only did God heal all the tumors in his head, shifted his face back up. It was a creative miracle. And then it was two months after that, got a report back. He went to the doctor because they said they had to do the surgery to get the tumors out. And they went in and all the tumors were gone. God Praise totally the Lord. Healed. Hallelujah. Yeah. It was awesome. You know, Matt, in the Bible, Jesus performed miracles mm -hmm. to draw the crowds, to create the hunger in yeah. them that he might then share the good news of the gospel. Yeah. So do you right. believe that God is using that same formula today? I believe so. I believe God wants to show his glory, wants to reveal himself to the world. And one way is through the demonstration of his power. And, you know, it was this past year, Marcus, um, the Lord opened up the door for us to sit with, with Dr. Oral Roberts in his living room before he passed oh, on this past year. It had to be special. It was really something. And, you know, we got to talk to him and ask him about his healing ministry and how the Lord used him and some of the secrets, you know, within his own heart of, of uh, the miracles that he saw. And I'll never forget when he sat there and he said, you know, a lot of people will think it's the faith. It, you know, the most important thing is the faith to see the miracles happen. He said, but, you know, the Bible says that every believer has been given a measure of faith. So really it's not that we don't have faith because we do have faith. God has given us that faith. If we're saved, we have salvation faith and then the Lord increases our faith. But, but he said he used to go and lock himself away in his hotel before a crusade and he would pray and he would ask God for love. 
And he said that as God filled his heart with love for the people and compassion for the people, he said that's when the miracles exploded in his crusade ministry. And, and you know, we see that in the life of Jesus where, you know, he goes out and there's the crowd of people. And what does the Bible say? It says he was moved with compassion yes. and he healed their sick. And I think there is something to the supernatural compassion of God that causes us to care so much about people that, that a, a supernatural force, a power of the Holy Spirit is released to bring restoration and healing in their lives. I want you to be thinking of some more testimonies, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Matt, I want you to speak to, uh, it's a, there's a young man watching and there's a call of God on your life and, mm -hmm. and they're nervous about stepping out and, and when you were talking about yeah. that when Lou Engel was telling you go for it yeah I want you to speak to them right now and encourage them yeah. they will know who they are yeah you know I, I want to encourage you if God's put a vision you know the vision that God gives you will always be bigger than you and it'll always seem that you know how can this be how can I take these steps you know how is this ever gonna happen in my life but I'll tell you what if God's putting something in your heart and the key is obedience yes. and faithfulness That's even right. if it seems hard even if you wonder how is this gonna happen how are the doors gonna open for me if you pursue God with all your heart and if you are obedient to the call of what he puts in your heart to do he will make a way for you he will open the doors for you he'll put favor on your life uh, to, to flow through you to touch multitudes so I just encourage everyone watching today especially the young people uh, if there's a vision in your heart go for it give everything in your heart to that call and God will use you in a mighty way okay tell us some more of the testimonies yeah well you know uh, there was this one service we were in where we had all the folks up at the altar and we were praying for for you know for the sick and there was a lady sitting down out in the in the congregation and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said Matt I want you to go pray for that woman and I thought to myself well God if she wanted prayer she'd probably be up here but you know she's sitting down so he said go pray for her so I did I walked over to her and I said can I pray for you and she looked up at me and she said no and I looked up at God and I said I told you <laughs> that is funny <laughs> so he said pray for her so I said, okay, excuse, you know, the Lord, you know, can I pray for you, please? I don't even want to be in this meeting. I mean, she was angry. She oh, was mad. Wow. She was bitter. She said, my husband made me come to this meeting. And I looked over, and there was the husband. He's like, yeah, I made her come. And, and she hilarious. didn't even want to be there. So anyway, she starts telling me all the sickness in her body. I never knew someone could have so much sickness in their body. I mean, it was a long list. And she said, I've had every person pray for me. I've gone to the doctors. I've had surgery. I've had this thing taken out of my body. And I'm still sick. And nothing's, help, nothing's working. And she said, God doesn't love me. God doesn't want to heal me. God can't heal me. And so, you know, this is not helping my faith right now. You yes, know? I you was know? thinking about that. <laughs> Lord, you know, that'd be discouraging. Yeah, the more people talk, <laughs> sometimes it just, you know, whatever faith you did have, it's just gone. So, I mean, I just had to close my eyes. You have to finally say, quit talking. <laughs> exactly. Stop. <laughs> and I just had to close my eyes. And just because I couldn't look at her anymore. No, <laughs> just because I had to get my eyes off of the natural and I had to get in touch with God so now I'm like okay God you told me to pray for her she doesn't want prayer what do I do now so I close my eyes I start to pray in the spirit and I ask her to stand up so then I start to pray and the Holy Spirit speaks to me and, you know we talk about the compassion of God there was a supernatural compassion in my heart that rose above where she was at you know even her attitude uh, and there was a genuine thing in my spirit that this the compassion and love reaching out to where she was in that pit of sickness and despair and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said she doesn't need healing and I said what it sounds like she needs healing God yeah no she has a spirit of infirmity and I want you to take authority over it and it will leave so now and I've you know you learn this when you begin to move in these realms of you know miracle ministry that sometimes the person just needs a prayer of faith for healing and other times there's there's an affliction on their life that needs to be broken by the anointing of God so and this is biblical because yes. Jesus sometimes did that he would cast out the spirit or bind the spirit right. of infirmity that were yeah. his own people that's right it's in the Bible <laughs> so I looked at her and I could tell she was in a very fragile state so I didn't get all Pentecostal on her you know Hey, in the name of Jesus, you know how sometimes you get that Pentecostal prayer. So I, I wanted to be more sensitive. So, you know, I, I said to her, I said, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking 
to the sickness that's in you right now. And she said, okay. And she just stood there and just stared at me. And I just looked at her and I said, in the name of Jesus, infirmity, leave her body. Because once I had the discernment, I knew I had the authority. So I said, in the name of Jesus, leave her body. And all of a sudden, the power of God hits her and she goes whoop, down on the floor. That oppression leaves her life. Now she's laughing and crying, laughing and crying. Aww. And she is encountering God. And when she got off that floor, Thank all the God. sickness was gone. Wow. And she said, you know what? I have not felt God for five years. She said, I have felt dead on the inside. And now not only is all the pain out of my body, she said, but I can feel the presence of God again. And I feel alive again. And that is just a wonderful thing when you see the power of God touch someone like that. That can happen to you today. If you haven't called, now's the time. In just a moment, Matt Sorger is going to pray. I'm asking him to lay his hands on the prayer requests of the people that call in. If you have a need of somebody in your immediate family, call that number or go to daystar.com and click on prayer. Matt, tell us another story. Another story. <laughs> Boy, we've seen so many healings. <laughs> there, was, um, there was another lady. I want to encourage folks that are watching. You know, no matter how difficult the situation looks, nothing's impossible for God. That's right. Nothing is. Uh, you know, if you will trust the Lord, and, and I encourage folks, you know, that are trusting the Lord for breakthrough or healing uh, to really persevere through times of testing. Um, because, you know, even I think about the life of Joseph, and I think how even in his life, you know, God gave him a promise. I mean, for those watching today who, yes. are, he who are sick, God's promise to you is that he wants to heal you. That's uh, right. For the, for the young person that is called by God, who has a vision or a destiny on your future, uh, you know, God has a promise for you, a word for your life. Uh, but then, you know, there's this, I call it the in-between time, you know, uh, where God gives a word or a promise, and then you have to go through this time before the manifestation of it happens. And I think a real key is perseverance. Matt, look at these phones just ringing <laughs> off the hook. That's awesome. That is an act God's, of faith. Yeah. If you're getting a voicemail right now, that's okay. God sees your act of faith and your obedience to reach out. Matt, just begin to minister as we close the program yeah. today, and I'll give you these prayer requests in just a few moments. All right. Yeah, so I just encourage folks to really, you know, keep persevering, don't give up. You know, when, when the word came to Joseph that he would be brought into a place of greatness, um, he ended up getting thrown into a pit, sold into slavery, falsely accused. I mean, all these horrible things happened to him. But one thing Joseph did, he never gave up. He held on to the vision, held on to the word that God had given to him. And eventually, his perseverance paid off. And God put him in the right place at the right time to really bring him from the pit to the place of the palace. So I encourage you today, trust God, believe God, and he's going to heal you today. His word is going to manifest in your life. Look at that. Look at these calls of people they're trying to get through. It's just incredible. Mm. All right, I'm giving these prayer requests to Matt. We're going to wait one more minute to give you an opportunity to get your prayer call in. This is a divine moment. Yes. Only a few times has the Lord ever Holy spoke Spirit. to me and said that Jesus. I'm here so in abundance. And as I said, I asked Thank the Lord you, Jesus. a few years ago when he first said that to me, what does that mean? And he said to me, it simply means I'm here more than enough to meet their needs. There's mm. a lady watching that there's a tremendous back problems. You've mm. had surgeries and you just feel a warmth up and down the back of your back right now. God is yeah. healing you. Reach out and receive it right now in Jesus' name. Yeah, there's, there's a healing anointing flowing right now, and there's a heart condition that is being healed oh, by the power of God. Lord Jesus. Right now, God. the Lord is creating a new heart on the inside of you. Father, in Jesus' name, we just release the healing anointing. If you yes, have any pain God. in your body, yes, take your hand, God. put it on the part of your body where the sickness is, where the pain is, and the power of God is going to flow through your body right now and heal every part of you from Hallelujah. the top of your head to the Touch soles of the your people, feet. Lord. Father, Glory throughout, God. throughout the world right now, we release the healing anointing. Hallelujah. We Thank say you, Jesus. Jesus, we take authority over oppression, over people, sickness Lord. and disease. And we say be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. We say be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, there's a woman being totally set free from depression that has been on your life. You have been under such a heaviness, but right now the anointing of God is touching you in your room right now, and you're feeling the presence of God on you, and that heaviness is lifting off you, that depression is leaving you, and joy is coming into your spirit today. 
Father God, we thank you right now for healing every person watching. 